Rosalie Bay Eco Resort in Dominica and we are going to assist the Water Drums and Fire Fringe event that was put together for the Jazz and Creole 2022 season. Now Watu is a new event for Jazz and Creole and I really really love the concept from the time I heard about it. Basically the idea is to have live Caribbean food cooking on the beach to the rhythm of drums you know just outside. I love the idea of this concept because it just helps you to reconnect with nature it helps you to have an authentic experience and that is really something that you don't see a lot or we don't experience a lot so this is definitely something that you want to attend you want to live you want to experience when you come to Dominica for the next jazz and Creole season but for now let's go behind the scenes let's experience what to um, you know at the Rosalie Bay and I hope that you're going to enjoy this adventure I know for sure I am really excited let's go where the live cooking is happening and guys I'm already smelling some nice grilled whatever I don't know what is being grilled but it smells nice aromas coming from the wood to the sky I'm excited like let's go let's go and check what is happening there one pot on the on the open fire on the open flame mm -hmm. we have chicken we have smoked pork wow with corn and local seasoning and peppers carrots onion garlic and maggie um i don't know if it's processed seasoning but well, maggie all purpose open, seasoning yeah. yeah okay all right and she's going to do the fish right now wow i i can see she's, she's really putting her foot and expression not only really putting her foot but she's putting her foot in that seasoning let's go let's have a look at the and how she's making the fish seasoning. So how are you seasoning your fish? I use a uh, pepper seasoning. Mm -hmm. Right? And mm -hmm. so, onions, peppers and seasoning and garlic. Okay. The lime, you use the lime juice or the skin? The lime juice. Okay. And that kind of like just boils together with everything in the pot? No, that doesn't. Okay. And so what did you guys decide to put some in? Something different, you know, apart from the jazz and curl if you can. It was something different to, to try, to see what's going on. Mm. New experiences. Mm -hmm. that's, that's basically it, just to try something new. Okay. Because not every day we have this kind of, um, or, 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 how do I put it, this, this different culinary experience. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes around, drum party. And different. being and being here, do you feel like it's worth it? Yeah, so far it's been worth it. The experience, just from talking to the ladies at the front desk, mm -hmm. it made the whole ambiance. Of the experience mm -hmm. and when you enter the street everybody's smiling the sun is out yeah. because friday we know the weather on this side was a um a mm -hmm. so um it's a nice experience and a nice um event mm -hmm. it's a well put together event so far for the, for the time being no complaints well i love what i'm seeing and i love what i'm smelling <laughs> 
everywhere there's food, I'm always yeah. involved. So uh, I can't wait to see what your one pot turns out to be at the end. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Yeah, most definitely. It cooks very well, as you can see. Yes, I, and as I can tell. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. I can't wait to see what your one pot turns out to be at the end. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Yeah, most definitely. It cooks very well, as you can see. Yes, I, and as I can tell. <laughs> What's going on? I think that's why I'm having lunch today. Ah, you're what are you guys you're doing? <laughs> okay, well, right now we have a little pot on the fire. We're actually using some smoked pork. Mm -hmm. After that, we're gonna foil up our chicken mm -hmm. and we're going to make a roast chicken. We are also going to saute some of our codfish mm -hmm. to make some bakes. So, as you can see over here, we actually have some bakes and then we're going to grill our fish as well. We're going to steam it actually to use some foil. And steam. So we have a variety of things that we would do. Wow. How did you come up, come up with what you wanted to do? Like, did you did you just say, you know what? I have all these ingredients. Let me see what I can do with it. Or how how did you come up with the idea? Exactly, of exactly that. Oh, really? Exactly that. We yeah. just noticed how many different ingredients that water provided to us, mm -hmm. and we we're like, you know what? We're not just going to make a one pot because I think that's what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing a one pot, we took some of the ingredients, we set them aside, and we. Figured what can we do with this? What can we do with this? What can we do with this? But we still have a one pot going on. Wow. It's just that we just use the smoke pot. I can tell you love cooking. And you know, <laughs> you love food. Right? That, that's a good one. And for you to eat food, you <laughs> be able to cook. So, uh, why did you decide to um, be part of this experience? Why did you decide to just join what to jump and tire for the first time? Okay, well, I've seen it before. Okay. And Niyanda, we went to school together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we follow each other on social media. And I noticed that she did it two years before. I wanted to go the second year. I don't know what happened. But I always told myself, whenever she's doing it, no matter what, I am doing it. So, she planned it for this weekend. And I, and I hooked up. I'm like, hey, what's going on? She just sent me the information. She mm -hmm. came to my work. Yeah. Paid for the ticket, everything. We got a nice and lovely ticket. Wow. Oh, <laughs> the ticket okay. attached to a stick. Uh -huh. A nice and lovely ticket. And then my goddaughter decided to come last minute. So okay. Just came to have a, you know, a little difference. Mm -hmm. Usually it's the same event. You have that old stage show and so on. Yeah. This, one I really like this. I was even telling me I know we should do that from seven to seven. Because mm -hmm. the amount of food we have here. Right? We have to be able to cook it, eat it, yes, yeah, and go for second. Rest, for second. And yeah, you know, go in the pool and then when you want to, you know, eat your big stuff, the after pool snack, Definitely. you know. Definitely. Yeah, man, but it smells really good. I mean, yes, I'm looking thank forward you. to. So you should pass yes. back. Definitely. Pass Definitely. Back. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for inviting yes, us. No Beauty. I really love this open air kitchen concept where people can actually come and cook food live. And what I find even more interesting here at the Watu Jump and Fire events is that the participants are actually provided with different ingredients and they are free to cook whatever they want to cook given the ingredients. That's why we see some people doing some one pot. Uh, some people cooking their chicken or their fish separately and it just allows you to really use your creativity and do what you want to do but right now i am at the table of seasoning and i kind of like wanted to walk you through the different seasoning which you probably know but um give it a little spin right so here we have our sweet pepper or in dominica i think they call them bell peppers i recently discovered that the bell peppers actually change colors as they mature you know as you can see this one is green and then it becomes red i don't know if it's going to become yellow i haven't really done research on it but it's beautiful to see that transition that natural transition of the bell pepper but i know from cooking and from enjoying cooking myself that the bell peppers actually taste different based on their colors so um the green one will taste different from the red one from the yellow one and in some african recipes you know we actually recommend some red bell peppers versus green red pepper green bell pepper versus yellow bell pepper so here is the bell pepper um section here we have our carrots you know everybody knows carrots carrots are great for your salad i love having carrots in my salad and they are also rich in uh, beta carotene which is um, very good for your skin and for your hair so that's one of the reasons why those uh, recipes when they always tell you to you know when they recommend ingredients for you know beautiful skins and beautiful hair they always have carrots on the list because it's rich in vitamin a yes and also beta carotene 
Here we have our seasoning peppers. Um, I think it looks a little bit like the hot peppers, but I think those are seasoning peppers and you have different colors. Um, they add flavors to all your meals, all your you know your recipes and stuff and they are a great addition for your you know your, your fishes um, your chicken and you know whatever dishes you're making we have onions now the funny thing about onions is that when i was a kid i did not like onions at all in fact it felt like um how do you call it it felt like a punishment whenever uh, my mom would make salad and put onions the thing is that onions look beautiful in salads and they add a very nice and you know an imposing yet a nice flavor to your salad and to, to, to food that you eat kind of like raw like your salad and I actually grew to enjoy onions you know depending on uh, the colors of the onions you also have different flavors like for example we have these are yellow onions or some will call it white onions but you also have red onions that are not pictured here that are even better for your salad and your salad dressing now as an adult I think I'm an adult. <laughs> now as an adult, I love onions. I can have them in my tomato salads. I can have them in my um, any garden or vegetable salads. I can have them in my grilled fish, grilled chicken recipes. I can eat them raw once they are in a salad. So I think I've grown to love my onions. I also see on this table spinach. And I think if I was cooking tonight or today, I would have definitely made something with spinach. I have grown to love spinach because I know that spinach is good for your blood it's good for your skin and it's good uh, for your body overall so spinach is usually a very good um, vegetable that you can use um, to, to get your your recommended daily supply of um, vitamin B12 is it B12? yeah vitamin B12 and folic acid and it's really good for your blood so, and it's also a very um, tasty vegetable to eat and to consume I use a lot of spinach in my personal recipes at home as well as in my traditional recipes uh, from back home like my African recipes um, I like to saute them with, your, with my seasoned peppers with my sweet or bell peppers and with um, a lot of onions and of course hot peppers so that's just a little bit of you know what I love using when I cook so I think if I was here today uh, well, if I was cooking <laughs> today I would definitely use spinach in my recipe and um, another thing that I find interesting about being at this experience is that because everybody is cooking uh, different things but with the same ingredients you actually get to see um, how people are getting creative and you know how people cook dishes based on their upbringings based on what they know to feel like home and based on what they know to be like a good dish so I'm looking forward to show you guys what all the participants come up with when it comes to their final dishes and I'm most importantly definitely looking forward to tasting them looking at more ingredients here we have our white cabbage and we have our pumpkin now my mom used to cook cabbage a lot back home and to be honest when I was a kid I did not like cabbage <laughs> but now I love eating cabbage and I think one of the reasons why I did not like cabbage was because I didn't really know how to cook it creatively it just felt like you know what can I really do with cabbage but you know I've learned that you can make cabbage wraps you can put it in your soup you can put it in your stews you can put it in your big recipes as well here we have pumpkin pumpkin is one of my favorite vegetables to date now for the little story, I actually started to consume a lot of pumpkin when I got here in Dominica um, because whenever I would go out, whether it was at restaurants or parties, people would have a pumpkin soup as an appetizer. And I was like, why would you make soup out of pumpkin? The rich and creamy feel of pumpkin on your heart and soft palate makes it such a delicious vegetable to eat either, you know, uh, when it's sauteed or in a soup. Uh, pumpkin is also very rich in vitamin A and in beta carotene as one of the yellow um, fruit and um, vegetables that you have. So as a rule of thumb, generally when you see vegetables or fruits that are yellow, they are they tend to be rich in vitamin A and in beta carotene, okay? And it also means by extension that they are good for your skin and for your hair. So if you want to have that glowy skin and this glowy hair, you know, Make sure that you load up and charge up on your yellow um, fruits and vegetables. So I'm really excited. I really love everything that I'm seeing. I love the flavors that I'm perceiving, you know, and I just can't wait to taste what the different participants are making today. Did you cook? Which one did you cook? <laughs> that. The potato? Yes. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Cool, cool. Did you enjoy this experience? Yeah. 
and she was new, but it was a good experience. Seeing how wonderful the event was, we are planning, actually, I'm planning to come back next time if there is another event like this. Okay. Chef Nyanda, yes. the water, drum, and fire festival is a huge success. I mean, based on what I see, the people have come through, they are cooking, they are eating together, they are enjoying themselves. Can you just let me know what gave you the inspiration to put together such a beautiful event? Uh, basically, I wanted to keep our cooking culture alive in Dominica. You know, how we cook outside, outdoors, and how we cook with our Bian puffy mayo on our local ingredients, our dashi, you know, our green bananas, salt fish and everything, coconut milk. So I wanted to create an event where you come and you cook. Chef Neander doesn't cook for you, but you're the one that cooks. So we give you the ingredients, you know, we help you set up your fire station. We have fire guys helping you. Uh, we have local beverages, local drinks, you know, we have all the sponsors, Twapi Tour, Belfast, Beach Church, Archipelago, and, and, just so, many to, more and so many more. And we're just trying to create a local event where you can come and enjoy in a different the culture way. in a different way. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. And yes. I just love being here. I love um, seeing how everybody is enjoying it. Yes, I love yes. tasting the different food. Yes, yes. You know, so many people are cooking in a different way, yet still with the same ingredients. Yes. So, um, are you? Are we gonna have an event like this again in Dominica? Is it gonna be two next more? year? Or, oh, two more events like this yes. year! Oh my God! So we definitely need to be to stay tuned yes. to what Chef Nianda is doing, yes. so that the next time they have a what two drums and fires, you come. You cannot miss it. Cannot you miss need it. to have this experience. You can check us out on social media. If you check our Watto page on Instagram, Mido's Kitchen, uh, Rosalie Bay Resort, on and Facebook Chef Nianda, well, and Chef Nianda as well. Yes. So excited! Like you guys, um, if you are in Dominica for the rest of the year, even when you plan to come, make sure the Watto drums and fire event is on your agenda. I'm telling you, you're going to love this. Thank you so much. I'm gonna let you go back. Um, I hope nobody is burning anything. Well, no. <laughs> they're not burning. They're Dominic. cooking delicious they're Dominican cooking delicious food. <laughs> So all these here is a local handmade jewelry mm -hmm. and they are locally made from the local seeds from the forest like we have the different things like we call those sene seeds or in quail um Gwendole Gliese and we have the black coffee beans okay and these ones here are called flamboyant all right so all of these are local necklaces they're all natural there are no painting they're all natural colors Well, if you get yeah, this is nice. This could go with this here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, she's 
to lift them. <laughs> she brought her arm and lift them. Oh. When he gets left, um, not so happy. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I want to show one. All of my trunk on my phone. I know it's, it's, it's not, um, it's a line crooked. Yeah. You have to like straight. Yeah, I'm ready to stop this one. That's not driving. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm going to jump on the last one. That's a big pot right there. You know what I mean? How long it's is it going to take to boil? Um, I would say about two or five an hour. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's it guys, we are at the end of this adventure to so, watch uh, two drums and fires event at Rosalie Bay. Um, what I enjoyed the most about it was just the fact that it was an open air event. You know, um, it reminded me a lot of our traditional ways of operating, of living. You know, the way you cook, the way you share your food with other people, you know, um, the way our joint culture, the African and the Caribbean culture, which is derived from the African culture, is so welcoming, so warm, you know, so inclusive. I really enjoyed being here and being able to experience this, uh, being able to, you know, just share this moment with everybody else here. And uh, as uh, Chef Nianda from Meadows Kitchen said, there will be more events like this for the rest of the year. So make sure you stay tuned on their pages, Meadows Kitchen, Rosalie Bay Resort. Uh, make sure you stay tuned so that you know when the next Watu Drums and Fire Festival comes and so that you can also take part in it. I hope you found this video exciting, entertaining and enlightening. Make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified every single time I release videos like this. And most importantly, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of this experience. I would really, really love to know. Until then, see you in the next adventure. Take care. Bye.